the halogens present a really interesting case of electron donating and withdrawing behavior because they're donating by resonance. They fit that general structural pattern of an atom with a lone pair with only single bonds, but they're very electronegative. And so they're withdrawing by induction. And so this leaves us wondering, are they ortho paradirectors or metadirectors? And what effect do they have on the rate of substitution relative to benzene? Do they speed it up due to their donating effect or slow it down due to their withdrawing by induction effect? Well, as it turns out, the halogens do deactivate the aromatic ring toward reaction with electrophiles. So EAS reactions of halobenzenes tend to be relatively slow. However, for the directing effects, resonance wins the day. And the fact that these are resonance donating groups makes them ortho para directors. This is what we observe empirically. Halogens direct substitution to their ortho and para positions. This is because the arrhenium ions associated with ortho and para substitution have this additional resonance structure that shows the delocalization of positive charge, at least formally onto the halogen atom slightly. So we end up with the ortho product via that ortho substituted arrhenium ion and the para product via the para substituted arrhenium ion. However, these form relatively slowly because of the inductive withdrawing effect of the halogen substituent decreasing the nucleophilicity, the Lewis basicity of the carbons in the aromatic ring. The preceding discussion has shown us that Electron donating groups by resonance are ortho para directors, while electron withdrawing groups by resonance or by induction, as we'll see, are meta directors. And so to determine the directing effects of a substituent, the first thing we need to know is, is it an electron donating or withdrawing group? And so I would encourage you to review the general structures of resonance electron donating groups on the left here and electron withdrawing groups here on the right. Another point I wanted to make here in terms of determining the directing effects of the substituent is to watch out for carbonyl groups and what I call competitive delocalization of lone pairs onto a group that's attached to a donating group, but on the opposite side of the aromatic ring. And esters and amides are the most important examples of this. So here, for example, we have an ester. You may be looking at this ester group and wondering, is this a donating or withdrawing group? On the one hand, it fits the structural pattern of a resonance donating group with an atom with only single bonds and lone pairs directly attached to the benzene ring. On the other hand, it contains a carbonyl group, which we know is electron withdrawing. So which is it, donating or withdrawing? Well, strictly being strictly <laughs> systematic here, being very careful, that oxygen is a resonance donating group. And according to our rule, quote unquote, our general guideline that resonance donating groups are ortho para directing, this group should be ortho para directing regardless of what's on the other side from the aromatic ring. What's, what's bonded to, what's the other bonds to the oxygen, right? Whether it's H, an alkyl group, a carbonyl, this is still electron donating. And that holds true. This is a donating group and it's an ortho para director. It's just what we will call moderately activating. It's not as strongly activating as, for example, a hydroxyl or an alkoxy group because of the withdrawing effect of the carbonyl. There is some competitive delocalization of the electron density of the lone pairs into the carbonyl, but that group is still electron donating overall. And we can still use this heuristic that it's a resonance donating group because it fits the pattern, so it's an ortho para director. Amides, where a nitrogen group is here instead of oxygen, follow the same idea. Amides are moderately activating. They're not as strongly activating as, say, amino groups, but they are still activating groups and they still direct to the ortho and para positions. Most resonance electron withdrawing groups are what we'll call moderately deactivating of the ring. Carbonyls come to mind. However, there are three important strong deactivators. These are the ammonium group, which is withdrawing by induction, the nitro group, and the trifluoromethyl group, which is also withdrawing by induction. So the ammonium and trifluoromethyl groups are just so electronegative that they 
are pretty strongly deactivating the ring. And this can cause problems in electrophilic aromatic substitutions where the reaction is prohibitively slow. It won't even go with trifluoromethylbenzene because the ring is just a terrible nucleophile all around. The nitro group acts through a resonance effect, but similar idea here. Nitro is so electron withdrawing that this can cause problems in many electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of nitrobenzenes. So while the carbonyl and cyano groups are moderately deactivating, these three groups that we see at the bottom of the slide are strongly deactivating and can throw a wrench into our plans if we want to apply EAS reactions. This table surveys activating and deactivating groups and their directing effects, and it comes from the Klein 3rd edition textbook. It's table 18.1. Notice that all of these that are activators, are ortho paradirectors, and the halogens, which are deactivating due to electronegativity, are also ortho paradirectors, whereas all of our withdrawing groups by resonance are meta directors here. And there are a few, a couple of important deactivators that are inductively withdrawing. The ammonium and trifluoromethyl groups are the most important. And these are meta directors as well because the inductive withdrawing effect has this, a similar effect, is a similar effect to the resonance withdrawing effect that we looked at in detail.